What's up guys, welcome to another episode. I am your host Jonathan Parkinson and this is going to be an episode for you winos out there. This is an application called Vivino, 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 one, I don't know how exactly to say it, but as you can see what it is is uh, it's a nice little uh, application for everybody to kind of find their favorite wine out there. You can take, you know, pictures of labels, uh, so on, so forth, and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to try to get into this without actually having to sign in. Uh, so uh, I've done a video previously on for whiskeys, uh, the distiller application. This is going to be something similar. So you'll just go ahead and take a picture of it. Uh, then you can go ahead and get your, you know, uh, set up a little buying guide for yourself. You can take notes. Um, you know, you can uh, discover friend. It's a pretty simple, pretty basic, uh, um, I guess, understanding. Uh, but again, I'm going to come in here and go into all of Vivino. I don't know if I'm going to find anything. So we will go uh, 14 hands. I guess. I don't know how that works. Handcraft. Um, Wils, Wilson, maybe I'm trying to do some wines off the top of my head. But I don't know exactly what it's going to be able to find from here. The Wilson, Wilson, Wilson vine. Okay. So yeah, that's actually going to be okay. So I'm going to go back to 14 hands just because I know that off the top of my hand or top of my head. Uh, so there we go. Cabernet Sauvignon, 14 hands winery. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So uh, these are very pretty popular, pretty cheap wines, but it's very tasty. You can come in here. Let's go ahead and find a year. I believe 2012 will be the year that I am looking for. Uh, I used to work for a uh, high dining restaurant, a fine dining restaurant, should I say, back in the, uh, you know, a few years ago, about six years ago now, seven years ago. Uh, where, you know, the average table price was about $100 for two people. And we served over 250 bottles of wine, I believe. So I have some, you know, pretty extensive knowledge of wine. Uh, but I haven't touched on it for some time. And I don't personally drink too much wine. Uh, I mean, I, I'll enjoy it. But I'll drink too much wine. And uh, that's why, you know, might hear me a little uh, stutter on some of these things. Just because it's kind of picking my brain again. Uh, so you can see there's some nice little notes about it, uh, region, quality, with, the, with all that type of stuff, uh, where to shop from it. Uh, you know, it gives you just so much information. And stuff like this is really, really nice, especially for all of you that are connoisseurs of wine. It just lets you have an opportunity of sitting down and finding some useful information without having to Google search every little information or a little bit of information. This way you can just have it all in one location. That way you might be able to stumble across something new. That'll be a little bit better. Uh, but if you do have any questions or comments, or if you do have maybe a wine that you'd like to suggest to others, something of you know moderate value on top of uh, being accessible, so none of these like you know hard to find, uh, $500 bottle of wines. But uh, by all means, go ahead and list those as well. You know you never know who you're going to be, uh, who could be reading that comment. Uh, but as always, you know leave that little section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys next video. Cheers.